Hello everyone and welcome back to my heavenly babies. I'm Angel and sitting here is Elijah. Elijah is the Elijah Sculpt. I got him off of Reborns.com. I'll stick up the sculptor and the artist because I just don't remember. He is phenomenal. He's got painted hair. He's got little baby pimples. He just is done just, I don't know, just I absolutely love his artwork on him. He's phenomenal. Um, but before we get started, as always, we're going to read the word. All right, we'll try to do this quick because that light's going to go off. I've been filming. This is the fourth video. Standing strong against temptation. Take up the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Ephesians 6, 17. Boy, I love that. Putting on the, um, it's Ephesians 6, 10 through uh, 18 is the full armor of God. Put that on daily, you guys. It's important. That's one of them there. Temptation is exactly the same for us as it was for Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. And Satan also tempts us in the same way as he tempted Jesus through the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eye and the pride of, the li of life. 1 John 2, 16. It is not a sin to be tempted, for everyone is tempted. The devil tempts, but he can tempt you only so far as God permits. And God allows and always provides a way to escape, 1 Corinthians 10, 13. The sin is in yielding to temptation instead of seeking God's power to escape. When you face temptation, follow Jesus' example. Satan will say, for a moment's bowing of your head to me, the, mo the money, the fame, the business, the success, and power will be yours. But do, not, but do what Jesus did. Jesus didn't argue with Satan. Jesus didn't debate with him. Jesus didn't um, rationalize with him. Instead, he replied, it is written, Jesus responded, to the enemy's temptation with the simple but strong truth of God's word. Scripture. Do the same today and always. Boy, that is great. Standing strong against temptation. We will be tempted by the devil, but like it, like it says, God will only allow so much. But we need to stand against him and stand strong. So when he tries to tempt you, to get you to do bad things, don't let him. Of course, we're going to. We're flesh, right? We're going to. But that's where we need to realize, re, you know, rebuke him out. I rebuke you, Satan, in the name of Jesus. Get thee behind me in Jesus' name. We will be tempted daily by him. But don't let him tempt you. Just try your hardest to be strong. And the best way to do it, what, is to be talking to God, praying to God, asking him to be there with you all the time, asking him to get you through it. And you're going to be tempted with hard days. You're going to think, why is it storming so much? But can only storm for so long, right? Every time we get a storm, what happens? A rainbow comes. So your rainbow will come. But you're always going to be tempted by the devil because he runs the world. Not really runs the world, but... You know, he basically does. He's here to try to, to get us to come to him because once we get our salvation, we're going to have and he wants to hurt us in every way he can. He only comes to steal, kill, and destroy. That's all he wants. And anybody that's walking, you know, that's not walking with the Lord, don't know him. Boy, he's really going to tempt you. He's going to give you that fame and fortune and all that and let you feel. I don't need all that because I got all this, right? No, he's only trying to tempt you because he wants you in hell with him. He don't want nothing good for you. Believe me, Satan don't want nothing good for you. So let's do what we can to keep that devil away. Let's keep him away. Stand strong against temptation. Put that armor of God on daily. Ephesians 6, um, Ephesians 6, 10 through 18. Read it every day. Put the armor on every day to be strong against the temptation of the devil. Wisdom for today. Your word, Lord, is more than sufficient to provide an escape for every temptation we face. May we spend time daily in its pages so that we are adequately armed when the enemy shows up to do battle. Amen to that. So we need to stand strong. Let's have that Bible everywhere we go. It'll keep us from sin or sleep. sin will keep us from this Bible. So keep it everywhere we go. The devil hates the Bible, hates it, doesn't want us to read it or anything. Let's read it, study it, honor, obey, and live by it. Let's do everything that God's asking of us. So, you know, that's what's going to keep us from sin. Keep this close. Keep this very close to you. Take it, I mean, put it on your nightstand right next to your bed and read it. Don't just have it there collecting dust. Blow that dust off and read it. If you don't have one, get one. You can go to the dollar store and get a Bible. I saw them the other day. I actually got a small one to put in my purse. So I always have it with me to keep me from temptation. Am I still going to be tempted? Yeah. He's still going to try, but I'm going to keep resisting him, you know, resisting that temptation, I mean, and try to stay and remain close to God. And the best way to do it is stay with him every minute of every day of every second of every hour. Keep him close and put that armor on every day. All right. So we're going to get Elijah here. Look, he's hugging on tight to that Santa. He never wants to let go of Christmas. He loves Christmas. Yes, he does. Let me show you this beautiful boy. We'll take off his hat. And show you, he's just gorgeous. Look at that hair. Look at that scratch, his baby pimples, his mottling and his blushing. Isn't that gorgeous? His eyes. He is so beautiful, so floppy. 
so squishy. He is just a love. Yes, he is. I couldn't wait to get my hands on an Elijah because it's a sold out limited baby and you are adorable and you smell so good. All my babies smell good. Wait, I want to kiss that mouth. All right, let's get over to the table before the light goes out. Let's hope it doesn't. All right, you guys, look at Elijah looking at you guys. Yeah, hope he's looking at you or the ring light. Anyways, we're going to try to do this last video quickly of the ones that I did for the week. And that's why I was in the same outfit. I always try to get these videos done quickly um, so that the light doesn't go out. I noticed after about the third video, the fourth one, it usually goes out, so it probably will. But we have a light above him, so we'll try to hurry. We're going to take this off of him, this one-piece jumper. We're going to put this on him. I want him in a onesie, but just a cute one, you know, because of spring. I just want him in something just light, you know. And this has just got, like, the background of, like, the pastures of the cows and everything. Just makes you start thinking of, you know, spring and all that. It's got the foldovers on it. It did match up and pair up with the pair of pants. But we just want the onesie on him today because I want his cute little legs to show. And I want it to be spring light. So it's a Carter's. It is preemie. It, it's a wrap one. So we're going to put that on him. I want... I don't know if I'm going to do a hat because I don't want to cover his hair. But if I do, I'm going to do this hat because it is cream color, and well, white and brown. And the hat is white and brown. And we'll do white socks for his feet just to be a little bit cozy, right? All right. So let's get him out of this. And we will keep on the onesie he has on. I like to have a onesie underneath, even though he's going into a onesie. I still like him to be in that. And this baby came with a ankle um, hospital bracelet. I love that I have this one, and the Guchin has one on his ankle as well. So he's got that. He came with that. It's got all his information. Uh, date was, uh, date of birth is 9-18-21. Um, he is at 12.53 p.m. He was born, and he weighs 4 pounds, 12 ounces, and he is 17.5 inches long. So, yeah, he's more of a preemie size baby, but I love the size. I love him. I love the Elijah, and I wouldn't have it any other, you know, any other way. I love, um, you know more newborn size babies to zero to three, but more newborn size. But this one to me just appears to be a newborn size, even though he's small, I love him. So yeah, say mommy loves you. Yes, I do. And I'm so glad I got my hands on you. And I would like to just show those little feet and we will a lot in the summertime. We'll be showing more of those bare feet, but right now we want to just cover because he is a baby. So he's going to be just in that long sleeve onesie type outfit for the spring. So we just want uh, him to be a little bit warm. Yep, we knew that light was going to go out. But we're going to keep going, and I'll be able to pop it on quick before we go so that you can see how cute he looks in the outfit. But we'll just get this going right now. Let's see, where does this one go? I think this one goes over here. Yeah, all right. So I just wanted to get it on properly when I'm putting it on, the buttons on it. Oh, I love his creases. They did so good on his creases. The artist, she did a fantastic job on him. Look at those creases, you guys. Let me get up closer so I can show you those creases. Aren't they great? And he looks shiny again, but he's not. I know it's dark, so you can't see that. But he's not. It is the light that does it that makes these vinyls look shiny. Uh, some of my babies are shiny, though, and I've mentioned the ones that are. But he is not. And if he is a little bit, I'm not really noticing it, but I am going to be going through and fixing my vinyls. I'm um, giving them another matte finish if they need it. So I will have to you know, take them apart, give them a wash with Dawn dish soap, and then um, get them uh, all sealed, um, you know, matted up again. And I'm going to do that. I got the stuff in the mail. So, um, wait a minute. What are we doing here? We do have a, a button over here that goes to this one here. Yeah, it goes to that one. I believe. Wait. No, it doesn't go to that one. It goes to this one. Yeah. All right. Then... Do we have another one in here? Yep, down here. It buttons down here. This is a wrap one, so we just got to be patient. Yeah, be patient and do this all upright and correct. This one has to go here because there's no other place for it. So, yeah. Say, we're going to get it, Elijah. Say, Mommy, we'll get it. Yep, we got it. We got it. Yes. Oh, he looks sweet in this. I know it's nothing fancy, you guys. Nothing fancy schmancy. But I love babies in onesies. I do. And it is long sleeve, so he'll be okay. And I love the light color on him. I love his eyes with it and the socks. So sweet. Babies look so sweet. Look, at he does move really good, too. But babies do. I love his froggy legs. That's another thing I really love about him. But babies do look so cute in onesies. They do so much. Let's get him to look at the light. We'll pop it back on so you can see what I'm talking about. 
how cute he looks. Isn't he adorable in that light color with those eyes? Aw, yeah. See, he is so pretty. Yeah, see, he's so handsome. Yeah, let's everybody see. Isn't he handsome, you guys? He's a handsome baby. Yes, he is. Yes, I love you. Mwah. Elijah, so cute. Yes, you are. You are a cute baby. Want your nook? Say, yes, yeah, say, you like that nook. You're a nook baby. See, because you're little. You were born premature. Yeah, so you're little. You're a little guy. Look at how cute he is, you guys. All right. Well, hopefully he's looking at you guys. We're going to get photographs of him. We're going to go ahead and let him give you a kiss. Mwah. He loves all you guys. He loves all his aunties, uncles, grandmas, and grandpas, all of his little cousins. I love you guys as well. Mwah. But remember that God loves you the most. Don't let the devil convince you, you know, otherwise. Don't let him deceive you. Put on that full armor of God daily. All right, everybody take care. God bless. And I'll see each and every one of you in my very next upload. Say goodbye, Elijah. Thank you.